Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure unboxing and review we're going to be looking at the Studio Series 86 Deluxe Class Perceptor figure. So what we're going to do with this video, we're going to unbox him live in a second, have a look at the entire contents of the packaging. We're then going to have a detailed look at him in each of his modes to help you decide how you want to display him. And as you can see he's got three modes here so that'll be fun to see all them. We're then of course going to do some comparisons with him and his original Generation 1 self. And of course, some other figures, perceptor figures that have been released during the Generations toy line. So let's get started. And before we open up the box, we're going to have a look at the beautiful artwork on it. And again, I need to say a big thank you to Robot Recruits. That's where I pre-ordered this from. And as you can see, they sent it to me nice and safely. So there's some beautiful artwork of perceptor there. That's really good. It looks great. And then we've got a much bigger version. So more zoomed in there of the head. As you can see here, Studio Series 86 and his reference number. So he's the 11th figure that's been released under this subgroup of figures. Again, we can see that it's going to take 20 steps to transform him from his microscope alternate mode to his robot. It doesn't say how many steps to his uh, tank mode, but I'll show you that anyway. And of course, we've got the backdrop there by the looks of it. Right, let's get into the package and see what we've got. And I've said this before about these particular figures. Um, they are brilliant. They really are some of the best, I suppose, Generations figures I've seen. I think they've really upped their game, I suppose, in general. I suppose with the Kingdom figures and with all of these. So let's try not to make too much noise. There's the backdrop, which is, of course, the battle on Autobot City from the movie. We've got the instructions there. We've got nothing else left inside the packaging, but we can see at the bottom there that we've got his little gun and there's the microscope bit coming through on the back. Right, what I need to do then is set him free from there and I will come straight back to you. Okay, as you can see, he's fresh from his packaging and let's do some first impressions. Let's have a look at this head sculpt, to be honest. This initially is looking yeah i'm liking the look of that it's got a lovely use of the silver there the yellow bit in the top you can still see the blue eyes that's a great little head sculpt uh yeah the chest cavity does open up articulation wise you can see we've got ball and sockets there in the shoulders so full range of motion we've got bicep flexion waist swivel uh, hips out front side knees yeah ankle rock the lot again i don't spend too much time with articulation with new figures because they've pretty much as you'd expect got it all and by the looks of it this is just going to fold up and sit there so overall looking good if i want to be a bit picky this perhaps could have been chrome rather than just painted and colored in but otherwise i'm liking the look of this what we're going to do now then we're going to come back and he's going to be in one of his alternate modes so here we are then in his first mode and this is of course his main alternate mode the microscope mode quick apologies for no transformation process on this video on camera it will be uploaded separately so as not to spoil it for people who don't want to see it and let's have a look at it it's pretty good to be fair i like it it does look i suppose kind of basic but let's be honest a microscope is you've got full range of motion here this will tilt back and forth you can hear it's got a nice little ratchet clicking away as well this of course is translucent at the front um, i've tried to look down this but i'm being honest i can't see anything down it although it is clear and it is clear at the end there one of the best things and features about the original perceptor was that the microscope did in fact work um let's have a quick comparison and funnily enough with the original g1 self and you can see there just the size difference i suppose of how much bigger it is i didn't realize um how much bigger it was and you can see how the chrome's really popping on the original it would have been nice if they'd have done that the same with this particular one um but yeah it, it looks it looks okay i think this has probably got to be let's be honest the most underused alternate mode in any of the um figures that they've ever made i can um yeah can't see many kids transforming them into the microscope base mode but otherwise you know it looks all right if you did want to display it in this particular mode um we haven't looked at the gun properly yet we might as well do it now i was going to show you in robot mode um but if you wanted to there's a number of five millimeter ports on his legs on what are his shoulders at the back etc you can probably put that there to store it completely out of the way so if you did want to display in microscope mode you can exactly like that right let's have a quick look then at his tank mode okay so i'm going to actually do the transformation process to tank for you on here so you can see because it really is simple what we've got here with the legs if we spin them around 
180 degrees to that side you can see we've got the tank sort of treads there maybe they could have made this a little bit more detailed to be honest um, especially with today's technology i appreciate the original didn't have much better detail than that but with today's they perhaps could have you can see we've got a cutout let me get this to focus there we go it's cut out there on the top of the leg and then there's two tabs here either side we're now going to simply bring these legs up and connect this inside you heard that clip in and the same on this side and it's just literally it was as simple as that so you turn it back it's not the greatest tank you're ever going to see but it's a brilliant little bonus mode um which again still displays quite well you can again as well take the blaster there is a hole here on the side of what is the microscope or is now a cannon and we can carefully attach that there and you can even power up your tank there you go so that's the bonus mode what we're going to do we're going to come back now he's going to be back in his robot mode for some comparisons and some final thoughts okay back for the final time in his robot mode as this is the way i'm going to choose to be displaying my particular figure so let's give him a quick pose with his gun of course we can see that this is going to fit nice and snugly into his hand let's just slide this out of the way and you probably won't be able to see much because these backdrops are good but let's be honest once you put the figure in the middle you can't really see anything behind it anyway um, it's a good little addition though and as i've said before it, it's nice and sturdy big thick piece of card nothing like the netflix ones that came with the other deluxe figures that were really flimsy so let's see how he sizes up or shall we say compares a bit better uh, with some other figures in exactly the same toy line because if you're going to be displaying them you're going to want to see what he looks like next to them so the ironic thing is he's bigger than hot rod we all know that hot rod isn't too big but he's pretty much bang on the same size as blair and jazz as well funnily enough um, but this compared to a leader class guy as you'd expect he's nowhere near and again i'm happy with that that's absolutely fine he is only a deluxe figure and he's shouldn't be anywhere near as big as a dinobot but there you go you can see that he displays really well with the studio series 86 figures now let's have a quick look at his original generation one self so the original generation one's obviously got a much darker red but a lot of it is the same i've already picked up on the chrome perhaps they could have done that with this um it doesn't necessarily matter about a working microscope but otherwise it's a brilliant homage i like it um this was i think one of the last versions of him released this was the i think it's a titan's return version and it's yeah it's leaps and bounds above that it's bigger um, <laughs> i've just realized if i put this guy there next to him this is a legend scale one it just looks like they're cascading down this guy is easily, as I say, the better version of him. And it's good that he's back to being a microscope. If you're unsure what I meant by that is in one of the generations lines, he was a truck there and he actually, he still looked like Perceptor. I've not got a loose one, unfortunately. He still looked like Perceptor, but yeah, they, they made him, as I say, they made him a truck like that. And although the microscope's a bit boring, that's what he is and that's what he should be so there you go guys hope you enjoyed looking at him hope it helped with your decision if you wanted to get one for yourself um yeah i think anybody my age or anybody who loves the the movie i think it's it's an absolute given he's a great figure hope you enjoyed watching this guys take care thanks for watching like and comment and don't forget to subscribe